Welcome to Dashbot. Dashbot is a bot analytics platform that enables developers to increase engagement, user acquisition, and retention through actionable data and tools. What you're seeing here is a report from one of our bots. It's a trivia bot that's live in the Slack store. So this is a report around users. So you can see the active users, new users. If you go into sessions, What's interesting in the case of Slack is you can have multiple users in the same session. It's multiple uh, to one versus web and mobile, which is one to one. That's why you have cases here of more users than sessions. We have engagement metrics, like average time spent, uh, average number of sessions, that kind of thing per user. You can even go in and see retention metrics to see DAUs and how often people come back. What's a little more interesting on the Slack side of things is you can see the teams that installed your bot. So these are all the teams that are actively using the bot as well as how long they've used them. You can drill into any one of the teams and then all the reports will then be based on that team. Much like users by date, you can also see the teams by date that have been using your bot. You can even go into top users. One of the more interesting reports is all around the, the messages in and out, basically the flow, flow through your bot. So since it's a trivia bot, a lot of the messages in are the A, B, C, D answers to bot, uh, the questions. But if we pick one of them, we can see what were the questions, or what were the messages happening beforehand and what happened afterwards. So in this case, someone typed in play categories. You can see down here, sometimes people type in categories. So it's an opportunity for the bot to you know, improve itself by looking for that. We can drill in further here, so this question was asked, and we can see what were the results afterwards. We can also look at the messages out. So in this case, please answer A, B, C, or D. That's a failure response rate, so folks um, that didn't answer properly. And you can see what was happening beforehand. So some of them are getting upset, you know, um, or they're having a good time playing the trivia. But this is a chance also to improve your, your bot. One of the things we've learned here, best practices, trying to get feedback from your users inside the bot. So this bot prompts users, what did you think of that round? And you can see afterwards, uh, a lot of people just want to play the trivia game again, but some of them are saying, you know, they're having a good time, LOL, uh, they want more, ha ha ha, are they still getting upset here? This leads to the sentiment. So we do sentiment analysis. This sentiment for this game tends to skew fairly negative because it's people trash talking with their teammates or they're getting upset because they don't know the, the answers to the questions, but it's all in good fun. They keep coming back and playing. One of the more interesting things here are the transcripts. You actually see live transcripts. We can go in, we can see these folks are playing right now. This is a live stream of them playing, the questions coming in and how they're answering it. Um, you can actually you know, get a, a feel for what people think by looking at this transcript. So here it is happening in real time. They're, they're answering it. And one of our neat features here is we have this concept of a live person injection. So we could actually type in a message here and it will appear as if it's coming from the bot to the end user. So you can use that to improve the engagement, especially if something goes sideways. Any of these things are also jumping off points into the, the funnel. So we can see anyone else that got this question, you know, how do they answer? So in the case of uh, Facebook, it's actually even much richer types of messages coming in. So you can see you have images, you have the cards, um, people can click the buttons. You have a whole slew of cards here that were sent back and people can send in images. They can send in audio so you can hear the audio. Hello, hello, hello. You can send in giphys, you can send in locations, and again you can interact with the users um, uh, directly in the bot, so you can do live person takeover to improve the experience. That's a high-level view of Dashbot reports.